The girl connects resistors in a combination of series and parallel in a DC circuit. Which resistor, the 4.6 ohm or the 2.2 ohm resistor, will convert the greater amount of energy per second into heat? Explain your reasoning. The first thing to understand here is energy per second. That sounds familiar. A quick look at your equations will remind you that power equals delta E over T. So greater amount of energy per second is the same as greater power output. We also know that power equals current times voltage. So we can use voltage and current to figure out which has the greater power output. Both of the resistors are in the same branch, so they both have the same amount of current through them. Remember, that's one of our important circuit rules. Since we know voltage equals current times resistance, without even doing any calculations, we can see that since current is the same for both resistors, the 4.6 ohm resistor will have a greater voltage across it than the 2.2 ohm resistor. We can then apply this knowledge in the same way with power equals current times voltage to figure out that the resistor with the greater voltage, the 4.6 ohm one, will have a greater power output than the resistor with the lower voltage. Therefore, the 4.6 ohm resistor will convert a greater amount of energy per second into heat. And we figured that out just by looking at our equations and not even substituting in any numbers. Well done! A voltage causes electrons to accelerate away from the positive plate in a capacitor, part of a circuit, and towards the negative plate. The electrons start from rest and reach a speed of 3 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. By considering the energies involved, calculate the size of the voltage between the positive plate and the negative plate. Here's the information we're given. The mass of an electron is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms, and the charge on an electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. We use the helpful equation from mechanics, E equals half mv squared, to find the kinetic energy gained by each electron. Substitute your values, so we have E equals half of 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31, times 3 times 10 to the 7 squared equals 4.095 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. This is the size of the energy difference for each electron between the two plates. But we want to find the voltage difference. We use voltage equals delta E over Q. Substituting in values, we get 4.095 times 10 to the negative 16 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 equals 2.6 times 10 to the 3 volts. That wasn't too hard, was it?